What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Industry 1. Welcome back to more Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker HD Stealth Walkthrough. We're going to show you a little bit of a mother base this time. Now we have a new medical team that we need to assemble. Avengers Assemble and a sick bay. All that great stuff. We've uh, we got Amanda now. She's part of our crew. As well as a new volunteer. Smoke Grenade Weapon 2 can be used. Analyzer rank 2, recovery tortilla chips rank 1, nice. Lime soda. <laughs> we got a lot of things here. Alligators just getting better and better. Yeah. A new plant has been built thanks to the staff's efforts. The soldier was in wounds status upon arrival and has been transferred to sick bay. Intense hostility. So we've got a lot of uh, a lot of things to kind of deal with here. Ooh, so many things. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. We're going to do the staff here. Medical tutorial. Sick or injured soldiers will automatically be transported to the sick bay. Soldiers in either state will perform below their natural abilities. The higher the level of your medical team, the lower the chances of sickness breaking out. Furthermore, the speed at which soldiers sent to the sick bay recover will increase. Finally, a high level medical team will enable you to develop high rank tranquilizer guns as well. <laughs> this concludes the tutorial. Alright, so. We've got lots of soldiers, lots and lots of soldiers. Uh, we're still pretty early, so we're still, you know, at the very beginning, just kind of waiting to put people in different places and all that. So you can check out the main. I think it looks like a pill, the one second from the right. Um, you can see how high those are, but we don't have anyone that's like an amazing sick person yet. So from what I can tell, I want to put. I want to put, uh, let me see, since we got two new ones, we've got the medical team and we've got the sick bay. She's already in there, of course. Um, we need to fix her up. Let's see where it puts everybody. Alright, so we got M16 rank 2, throwing grenade rank 2. Love box number two. Walkman number two. <laughs> Got a lot of number twos. All right. Wow, they didn't put anybody in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, he can stay where he is. Let's get someone that has some good medical. This guy's got somewhat good medical, so we're gonna go ahead and take him and move him into the medical team. This thing, this guy definitely you want to put in the medical team. Alright, so we're gonna go over to all. And see who else we can put in here in the medical. This guy should definitely be in the medical. And I think this guy should probably be in the medical as well. And so we still got lots more enemies to get. That's why you just want to keep getting as many enemies as you can as you're going through here because you're going to need that. Um, currently, he's in the food, which he'd be best used. A lot of other people have a, a lot of medical skills. This guy has some good medical skills. Alright, so now we're getting some medical... You have selected staff members currently hospital in sickbay. Would you like to move them even though they are not fully recovered? No. So let's... I guess it takes a little bit of time for them to fully recover. Uh, we're starting to build somewhat of a medical team, so we just gotta keep going through it. And wait a little bit longer so we're gonna go in here check out some more items and stuff 
you can see that we've ranked up a lot of things already. We don't need any of these weapons just yet. Let's see if there's anything else that we want to do. This one's 21%, so we still got a little bit of time before that one is leveled up more. Placeable weapons. I wonder what is this? It's a magazine. You can see everything that we can do. Grenade, stun, magazine. Looks like I think I'm pretty good with everything right now. We just need to build up a lot more stuff in order to get the more non-lethal weapons. I want a non-lethal sniper. We got a sniper already, but I want it to be non-lethal. So we got to get the medical kind of up a little bit more to do that. Uh, I can take a look at mechs. We beat the LOM G. So you can actually view it if you want to. Now, if you wanted to be more action oriented, you just need to shoot the gas cans on the side, you can see, and that'll take it out a lot easier. But we want it completely intact so we can get the most points possible. Alright, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and head into our mission. Alright, so next up is going to be Rescue Chico. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the walkthrough, and it's go time. Snake. The nukes appear to have left the coastal marshes and reached the mountains around Irazu. But without a guide, it's going to be tough tracking those things in the mountains. So we need you to infiltrate one of their bases, a prison facility. I hope nothing's happened to Amanda's brother. I hear you. There may be other Sandinistas held there too. To bring them back safely to MSF, use the Fulton recovery system. As I'm sure you know from experience, it's completely harmless. After all, you won't have time to sit there and convince every single one of them to join. One other thing, Snake. Amanda. Those CIA bastards confiscated some of the houses in the village. Chico's got to be inside one of them. Houses, huh? How do I tell which ones? When they took over the houses, they installed new front doors for security purposes. The new doors are blue, with peepholes, so you can see what's inside. Blue doors. Got it. You're getting close to the end of the transport route. Good luck, Snake. Areas with a distinct dry season, like the Pacific Coast, have tropical dry forests. During the dry season, the trees drop their leaves. It gives you a clearer view but at the same time, there are fewer places to hide. So be careful. Sounds dull. It is not really. A lot of trees flower during the dry season, including my favorite, the Tabebuya. It has these amazingly vivid yellow flowers. Costa Rica has several active volcanoes, Irasu being one of them. That's where Camino de Lava comes from, huh? The tropical dry forests around here are quite different from our rainforests. They lose their leaves in the dry season. Tropical forests are not all thick jungles. A few of them even have cacti. Some of Costa Rica's greatest assets are its diverse forests and natural landscapes. Costa Rica got its first real railroads up and running about a hundred years ago. Their primary purpose was to move coffee harvested in the central basin to the Caribbean coast. They built railroads here a hundred years ago? That's impressive. It was even more difficult than you would imagine. Later, they started using the railroads for shipping bananas, too. There still might be some branch lines around here. Aldea de los Despiertos means Village of the Awake. <laughs> Weird name. The area is littered with coffee fields, and there is a factory nearby. The villagers are fans of coffee, so... Nah, they don't get much sleep, huh? They've got a sense of humor, all right. I cannot believe they would take over a place like this and use it as a prison. It is unforgivable for both La CIA and the thugs they employ. All the villagers wanted was to live in peace. What gives La CIA the right to crush them like that? They don't care about anyone's rights but their own. It's just the way some people are. You really think so? Don't worry. It just gives me the right to teach them a lesson. Amanda, how do I get to the prison camp? First, head up the narrow mountain path. The path will gradually open up and you'll come to a fork in the road. Watch yourself up there. You'll be lower than the surrounding terrain. So if you head down the middle, you'll make for an easy target. Yeah, 
Thanks for the heads up. Take the leftward path to reach the prison camp. What can you tell me about the prison camp? Well, it used to be a village until they took control of it. It's a maze of paths, so watch out for soldiers on patrol. <laughs> I'll be sure not to stop and say hi. Use the paths carefully, and you should be able to stay out of view. Where are they holding Chico? One of the houses, most likely. You can peek through the doors. Just press the action button when the icon appears. You could also listen to any sounds inside for clues. Good idea. Guards will still be on the move while you're looking inside. Make sure you don't get caught. And Snake... I know. I'll bring him back. Thank you. I know I can count on you. All right, ladies and gents, it is now time to uh, prep ourselves for this mission. So we're going to be Snake again, of course. We're going through more jungle type environments, so we're going to switch up a little bit and go with a more jungle-heavy kind of a uniform. So, green would be good. Tree bark. I think we're gonna go with... G and... Well... I don't know. Let's go with, uh, let's go with DPM because it's got pretty much all-around good stats. Survival. Alright, so as you can see, we got Analyzer Round 2, or Level 2, but we still don't need it because we're still just trying to get as many... We don't have a full base yet, so once you get a full base, that's when you can start nitpicking to get people uh, specifically where you need them. Uh, stun Gun is still Level 1, we're developing that. Smoke Grenades, Level 2, K21-2. I think we're ready to do this. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the walkthrough so far, and it's go time. All right, here we go. Chico's in a prison camp north of here. This is actually a really, really short mission. Bolton recovery to helicopter is complete. Don't need to take everybody out. Now this one's a little bit more trickier. Sniper, better be careful if you don't want your head blown off. Recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Bolton recovery to helicopter is complete. We can't get the sniper up there, although he does have really good stats, but we don't have the proper Fulton recovery system to do it, which we will later on in the game once we develop more. Chico's in one of these houses. You've got to find him, Snake. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. To check inside a house, press the action. Here. I know I saw someone. Not this one. being used to hold prisoners have been fitted with blue doors. All right, I think that's going to be it for enemies. <laughs> so we're just checking uh, the different doors here. Chico. There we go. You? Photographer. 
That's right. A war photographer. Huh? I thought you were here for the birds. Yeah, um, the birds of the battlefield. Whoa! Is that chess? Can I see it? Wow, the same kind of chair used! You can't keep it, kid. Here, have these instead. Those photos! Huh. Oh no, Amanda! She's safe. Don't worry. Are you sure? We're patching her up back in my place. She's hurt? I said, don't worry. It's just a broken leg. Huh. You got any cigarettes? Mm. Hey, cigar, huh? Hey! It's not for kids. Chico, do you know where they took the cargo? Cargo? What cargo? Let me rephrase that. How do they get stuff from the coast up here? Oh, that I can tell you. When the cargo gets to the harbor, they first send it up the marshes on a barge. Then, they load it onto a jungle train past the banana plantation and transport it by rail. The train stops here. When it gets to the train terminal past the coffee plantation, they reload it again, this time onto a truck, which disappears into a tunnel heading toward the mountains. Disappears? Chico, what's on the other side of that tunnel? Nobody knows. None of our compas ever got close enough. He's protected by a spirit. A uh, spirit? Yeah, a giant monster. El Basilisco. The King of Snakes. No, 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 really, I saw it. I was camping up there one day, and just as I was waking up around dawn, I heard this loud noise. I opened my eyes and saw an enormous shadow. Must have been 30 bara at least. It was walking on legs as big as trees. Where did you see it? At the terminal near the tunnel. But I only saw it that one time. What exactly were you doing there? I, uh... Well, me and my sister got into a fight. And you just happened to go camping. You know, their train should be arriving at the place I saw El Basilisco right about now. Is it far? No, really. Go past the coffee plantation, and it'll be to the north. What are you chasing? Hmm. Something that could keep the world in balance. Or destroy it. Huh? I heard that place was a narcotics plant before those guys took it over. But you already knew that, didn't you? Huh. Look, I get it. Even revolutionaries need to pay the bills. Still, must be tough for a kid like you to swallow. You're damn right it is. The route they use to transport stuff is the same one me viejo used to smuggle drugs. They sold the drugs to the Norte Americanos and used the profits to fund the army. They tried to keep it hidden from me. Is that why you went camping? Yes. I managed to sneak into the plant a few times and... I tried to set it on fire. <laughs> Everyone treats me like a child. I, I, I couldn't stand it anymore. I'm not a kid, I'm 12. Couldn't do it though, could you? Chico, growing up means choosing how you're gonna live your life. To do the right thing, you sometimes have to leave the things you care about behind. Parents, family, your homeland. But mi viejo. Papa. Chico, look at the photos. Mi viejo. He's gone. But there's one thing you don't ever leave behind. Your memories. Keep them safe. You want to get out of here, Chico? I do, but... Come back with me. Your sister's waiting for you. I can't go back. I can't face everybody. <laughs> you told them where your compas are. I see. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. Pain gets the better of us all. I wish I was dead. Okay then, I'll put you out of your misery. What? Any last?
last words. Shoot, you're only going to kill a man. I just wasted a bullet. Don't waste your life. Listen to me, Chico. You died here today. You understand? You're Ombre Nuevo, a new man. Now, give that new life to me. Huh? Fight with me, little soldier. Show me how strong you really are. <laughs> Dry your tears, then promise me one thing. No smoking until you get older. Remember, real heroes are never as polished as the legends that surround them. You got it, boss. Uh, Snake is fine. What's that? Ah! There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the walkthrough. Again, please let me know if there's any way that I could uh, make these videos easier for you guys to follow. I really, really would like your feedback. I love communicating with you guys. How excited are you for you just for the Metal Gear Solid series in general? Tell me some of your favorite moments from the games and stuff like that. I really would like to know that as well. But again, there is another mission to complete. Rescue Chico S ranking. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Obviously, don't forget that you need to skip this cutscene. That, um, that you already saw, you need to skip it in order to get this S ranking. If not, it's a very long cutscene and you won't be able to get it. So just letting you guys know. Thank you so much uh, for watching. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, bitches. Snake, Chico made it over. Snake! Chico, you made it. Made it? Don't give me that. You say you're gonna give me a new life, and then you nearly kill me! <laughs> I take it you didn't enjoy the trap. What's the big idea? Dragging me off in a... balloon! I might as well have taken a Calibri. At least you got a nice view. Or are you afraid of heights? Whatever. I just wish you would explain it to me first. Would you have agreed to go if I did? <sighs> Thank you for saving us, Snake. Amanda, a word of advice. What? Stop treating him like a child. Yes. Yes, I know. You're right. I shouldn't. Amanda, you're coming back after your leg heals, right? Of course. We still have work to do. We, huh? Are you sure you've got Chico's future in mind when you say that? What do you mean? We're sworn to our father's cause, to helping the revolution succeed. Revolution or no revolution, you pick up a gun, and sooner or later you're going to hell. Are you prepared for that? I am. If the alternative is giving up the country I love, I'll take hell. Really? Well then, you're gonna have to stop treating Chico like a brother, and start treating him like a soldier. I... You're right. Welcome to hell. Snake, can I ask you a favor? Shoot. You find any prisoners from El Frente, you bring him back alive, because... Hmm. You're trying to make amends for talking. Uh, not just that, because they're compas. All right, but first, I've got to catch up to that cargo. I'll do whatever I can to help. Call me if there's anything you need to know about the area. And... And what? Let me know if you encounter any wildlife you've never seen before. Never seen before? What, like that Basilisco you were talking about? I'm talking about UMAs. UMAs. You know, like ancient dinosaurs or, or legendary monsters. One day, I'm going to be a hunter. Is that right? Okay, sure. If you want to know more, I'm happy to tell you. Right. I'll be in touch, Chico. Okay, Snake. The enemy's cargo is headed for the next outpost, a rail terminal. Chico says no one's ever set foot past there. Their main base is probably on the other side of that tunnel. Unless we catch those spears before reaching it, they'll be in enemy hands. You've got to stop them. Hurry, Snake.